So we had a pretty big storm a couple weeks ago. We don't usually lose power, but we certainly did. And I thought I was prepared, but I was not. So we lost power and with that, we also lost our internet and phone and TV and all that because all of that comes through the internet. It wasn't a big deal, but it was a pretty major annoyance, especially because my desktop computer, it crashed every time the lights flickered on and off. And that was a lot. So I thought I was prepared for it. I wasn't. I want to show you what I got instead, but I went a little overkill. So bear with me. You see, I want to do some show and tell, but if your Amazon Prime takes more than two days, you probably say, I got screwed by UPS. I don't know whose fault. I don't know whose fault it really is, but I mean, deal with it. Um, I want to talk about a different type of UPS. Let me explain. I've already opened this up because these are designed to be serviced and it's kind of a marvel. Just like an unboxing video, this is just a top case, doesn't do anything. And on the inside, is a big heavy transformer. This alone probably weighs 12 pounds. These last about two years, which is pretty typical. Um, believe it or not, this is actually more like a per high performance car battery than anything else. And that's because it uses sealed lead acid battery cells. There are six of them. What this does is it converts this DC current back into alternating current or vice versa. These work great, except they're incredibly inefficient. Maybe half of the power, if not more, um, that comes in and out of this battery is lost through this. Now, so if you've ever looked under the hood of your car, which I recommend, you have some 40 amp fuses. So if, these ever, if you ever have a power surge, these are actually soldered on, but if you have a surge, you can just replace these and you're good to go. It's not hard to do. I have a soldering station right there. If you've ever broken an iPhone cable, um, this is how not to do it. If you look at it, it's secured in the plastic. So no matter how hard I pull it, it's not going to wiggle inside the unit. And you got this nice big turtleneck. I know Apple doesn't like thick, heavy cords. They are great. This, has, this looks brand new and yet it's probably 10, 15 years old. Um, oh, the other cool thing, if you're into gaming computers, you might have heard a power supply having different rails. Well, this has two rails, one, two. And if you look on the other side, those are your plugs. So if you take a look, these are grounded in series. So this ground goes to this ground, which also goes to this ground. So that's kind of clever. I just like how seeing things work. Um, all that does is it just kind of simplifies these wires. This might look intimidating, and it is if you don't know what's going on, but trust me, if you read the manual, you could probably fix this thing. It's not hard. So I got a new one. They're mostly the same product. This is made by an older company called American Power Conversion. This one is made by just as good company called Triplite. Now, if this feels light, that's because there's no battery in it. But even if there was a battery, it's probably half the weight of this. And let me explain why. Like a MacBook, when you open it up, there's nothing at all inside here. Now, these are considered disposable units. And that means when the battery goes, goes bad, which just takes about three years, um, they expect you to throw this away. Now that's a shame. This set unit you can buy brand new for about $80. I got it 90% off because the battery is dead. So not a bad deal. Now the reason why this is so light is because it uses a switching power supply just like inside your MacBook charger. And if you want to take a look, there's almost nothing going on. That's wonderful. That makes the cost of the unit go down. It makes it more reliable and it is wildly efficient. This unit can get up to 90% efficiency where this older one can struggle to get half of that. What's that mean? I can get just as much power with a battery half the size. Ooh, let's use this thing. You know, YouTubers, I know you like your fancy knives. This, this, I don't know what it is even, like a pocketable saw. This is the greatest unboxing tool there is. Now let's go for the big one. 
Oh my gosh. I'm not exaggerating the weight. Yeah, I did throw a box at my camera. I'm liking this corrugated cardboard. I can explain why that's kind of neat, but basically this stuff is crush proof. And these are actually one of the most common types of batteries as far as they go. Uh oh. I could have sworn these said F2 connectors, but these are absolutely not. All right, actually this works just fine. It's not great, but since it's gonna be screwed into a container, nothing's gonna be pulling on the wire, that's fine. But so I'm gonna hook this guy up um, and show you the difference between the, the original battery made by a company called Vision, which apparently they just don't sell to consumers. So that's why there's um, Mighty Max batteries, which apparently just manufactured by a larger company called AJC. I don't know, but I mean, Everyone who bought these seems to like them, so that works out. But I'm, I'm disappointed. I could See, I like how these batteries are packaged. They come in these nice, cute boxes, but I like this piece of cardboard and these plastic tabs, so no matter what, nothing's gonna short these. And also, if you take a look at the box, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit taller than it needs to be, so if something was to get dropped on it, you don't bend these tabs. Here are the difference between the batteries. So, original battery, um, connectors are larger. Smaller battery uses smaller connectors. They're both standard sizes. I was just the idiot who bought the wrong one. The good news is that the, the leads will attach on just fine because they grab onto this little slot. All right, so we're gonna pop in the battery and it's pretty straightforward. I'm not sure how this is supposed to go, so when you're in doubt, look for some hints. So if you look at the red wire, it's a lot shorter than the black wire. That is gonna indicate that the red is gonna be closer to the black, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And if you're, and if I, and if I just wanted to demonstrate, this, this fits uh, pretty good. I can do this like Salt Bay, right? Just. This is the old battery, that's six volts, that's terrible. And then the new battery at 12.9 12 volts, that's pretty darn good. Okay, see so I disconnected this. This is what controls all the little lights on here. Now we can take a better look at this. So when you look at it, it's fairly simple. But what I love about this is, this is a perfectly good unit. So if you bought this from the store, everything would be exactly the same. You would just have, you know, I guess a, a name brand battery. But even though these are made by different companies and, you know, big distance apart, the screws that they use, um, they're identical. I mean, you know, they look a little different, but they're the same thread, which is kind of neat. So I can mix and match if I want. 